Hello everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me in today's video. So, so far we've sort of made a start on our project, we've got some structure in there, we've got a bit of equipment. Um, I think for the next couple of days or so I'm going to get out of the plant world and jump into advanced steel with our project. So, um, we have our steel model here, so this is the double uh, O area. Structural model number two, which is our north south pipe rack. So instead of asking our steel detailers to redraw, redraft, remodel, we can give them an XML file uh, from Autodesk. It's a it's a uh, sort of packaged file. The file extension is an SMLX, um, but inside that will contain the data for uh, the structural members. Uh, the, the grid and, and I guess anything else that can come from Plant 3D. So what we need to do is click on the structure tab and then at the top here click on advanced steel XML export. So my output file I'm just going to throw on my desktop and I'm going to call it Plant 3D and select objects. I like to just type in all so that includes everything. So 33 objects selected and we go export. And you see down the bottom there's a progress bar, so we're done. Then I switch over to Advanced Steel, go to Export Import, and I can click on Advanced Export in the, in the pull down there and go to Advanced Import. Look for the XML file, which is on my desktop. Now, this section conversion or this mapping is only going to appear once or should appear only once. So what it's saying is this is the member inside Plant 3D. What is the matching member in Advanced Steel? So we need to look for UCs, so Australian UCs, and then 250 UC 89.5 and go OK. So again, same thing. UB has come up as an issue. 250 UB 37.3. And there we have it. So now we can see that we don't have to remodel grids or members or whatever. We can just bring it straight in from Plant 3D. And you can see it's taken everything. So, you know, we've gone from grid to grid. So we do have overlaps here, but we're going to clean all them up later. So I'm going to do a save as on this on my desktop. And I'm going to call it 00str0002 underscore AS for advanced steel. So it's on my desktop now. To include it in Plant 3D, I'm just going to close the file, switch back to Plant 3D, and under my 00, I can make another subfolder or include it in here. Again, the workflow is completely up to you. There's no right or wrong. I'm going to right click on the folder, copy drawing to project, look for my file on the desktop and click open. So now what that is going to do is copy it into the project directory. And the benefit of that is that it means anyone who wants to create an ortho from that file will be able to use the advanced steel file. If the advanced steel file is not part of the project, it's not going to work as an, and under the orthos. So even if I open this inside Plant 3D, which in theory I shouldn't, because if I damage the file then the, the whole model is lost, but I can see that all the properties come through, so Plant 3D does recognise the advanced steel uh, elements and I'm going to save it with uh, close it without saving. So now if I go and close this file, I haven't changed anything so I'm not going to bother saving it. I can go to my overall master file now and then I can look at my XRefs. So STR002, which is the north-south rack, I can unload it. And then what I'm going to do is 
go back to my advanced steel model in the project manager right click on it xref into current drawing and now we have the advanced steel model in its place so just to show that sort of workflow working if I go back to advanced steel and I go to open file and instead of going to my desktop I go to where my plant project is plant models zero zero and look for the AS file and go open so just to do some quick connections in here go to my connection vault do a shear plate so I'm just going to do just a small one I might do it as a let's do it as a 4x4 four four. so I want two horizontal bolts and two vertical bolts placed in the middle and there we go now in advanced steel just quickly I can go to my advanced tool palette and go to the tools tab and I'm going to create a joint in a joint group of multiples so pick the source connection pick the vertical columns as the first selection and then pick the horizontal beams as the second connections and there you have it so now we've done all of those connections against that first lot of steel in a group so now just to demonstrate that so keep an eye on the bottom of the screen if I update the horizontal bolts in the parent then you can see the children all change so again we'll just go back yeah I'll just switch that back to, to 2 just for a nice neat connection so now I'm just going to close that file and then go back into plant 3d and I can go to my xref dialog and then reload that and then you can see if we zoom in we have those structural connections xref inside of plant 3d so in that way your your disciplines are all working in the one folder the one directory structure so if anything uh, happens towards the end of the project uh, like we need to archive it or copy it out somewhere else then we can just grab the one folder then copy it out then all the disciplines um, aren't going to lose their, their, their spot so to speak so you don't have to navigate through different directory structures you don't have to navigate across the network you can just navigate uh, within the, the plant project so and what we'll do let's jump into our ortho now so I'm just going to close that so I'll go to my ortho drawing so this is my overall GA so now I'm going to edit my view and then I'm going to go to 3D model selection so instead of picking the plant steel model I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to turn on the advanced steel model and go OK and then go OK again and then if we zoom in and I turn line weights off So turn the display line right off then you can see in here that we do have uh, those shear plate, plate connections in there so again it does with that connection obviously it tidies up the, the steel members around there and then we can start um, uh, seeing more of the detail so just to show if I do a new drawing uh, and let's do 00, zero GA uh, let's do it as a 200 series So what I'm going to do is a similar thing. I'm just going to turn, let's turn these ones off. And I'm just going to do the overall master file. So 
so it doesn't look like that's come through so let's make go back and do our other option there we go so I want to see an ISO view of that so I go to my ortho cube and I say current view and let's put some perspective on it at one in a hundred and now you can see we this model is now a mix of advanced steel and plant 3d so I turn the line weights off just to make it easy to see so you can see plant has uh, flattened the advanced steel elements it's flattened the plant elements uh, and then we can slowly start building up our model so if I want to edit this view again and add the equipment for area 1 so then I click on 3d model selection again go to area 1 equipment go OK go OK and then plant 3d is going to just recut that view and you can see that our equipment's come in obviously for this I haven't amended any layers or colors or styles that's something uh, you can do on your own um, but again it might be something that we cover in in future videos so thanks for watching uh, thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't please click on the notify button if you want to get my daily updates uh, and feel free to subscribe to the channel and also uh, next week I think we'll concentrate a bit more on advanced steel um, we'll finish off maybe the the rack or make a start on it maybe throw some bracing in there uh, and then just start generating a few drawings and, and we'll slowly progress through this project so again please subscribe and notify and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow